So earlier on in the week, I shared with you this delicious anti-happy best Zongo roadside jollof fries. Okay, and I promised to share the stew with you. So the jollof stew with you. And that's why I'm here today. So welcome everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well by God's grace. I'm so grateful to all of you for always coming back to support me. God bless you all. Uh, before I get into the video, please like this video, share and subscribe if you haven't. If you are new here, welcome. You are in for a ride. You will love this recipe. Okay, so consider joining this family and you will never regret it. Trust me. Thank you. And let's get into the stew making. So for starters, we're going to um, start with our meat, okay? So we're using chicken and beef at the same time and i'm adding some salt and my b10 okay so this b10 actually is bb10 right i have the recipe and it's coming to you like a bullet trust me but when i hate to say bang right so what i do is um, when i put it in because the um the spice cubes are frozen i just let it steam for a bit before i stir it okay so then the spice cubes they melt um over time of over a short period of time and then i go in to stir and then i let it boil until it's ready okay so as i said auntie habiba she hasn't got time we need more time if you know about your beef tea you know your chicken stew or you need a boom or burn up a chicken and when your chicken open beef you get your beef because you have a new see in chain so now my my meat is ready and i'm going to fry and um you saw me drop some white substances bicarbonate of soda or baking soda i do that um, just to um, reduce or avoid splatter and trust me it does reduce splatter and using this granite saucepan really helps it also um, reduces splatter this granite so if you have a granite saucepan please consider using it for frying so all the be the meat let me say meat is nicely fried and i'm using the same oil for the stew right so i have some sliced onions i use both um brown and then red onions okay you can use whatever you have onions are onions they will all work okay so i'm going to be frying them a little bit until it's translucent and i'm adding just one tablespoon of chili powder the reason is i'm using the same sauce i use for my zongo beef um stew okay um and the same recipe so if you want to know how i made this delicious tomato sauce i'm i'm going to link that recipe for you for you to check that out so i didn't show that because i've showed that in a previous video so there's no need right so yeah um and with that recipe i added chilies to the tomato sauce that's why i'm adding just a little bit of chili powder to boost the hotness <laughs> the heatness the chilliness the spiciness or the shishiness and i'm also saying <laughs> yes i said and she shake a crown so yempe a yi froya no kunim udia na boso fun debi. So yeah, we just um I just stirred it and um yeah you keep stirring it and because um we're using the tomato sauce it's already been reduced. I've boiled it and it's already been reduced. So here we only frying it right and we're not going to do that for long. Yeah. So um the spices I'm going to be using here I'm using two tablespoons okay of my zongo shito spices and i'm adding curry powder turmeric nutmeg and then cardamom powder okay and i'm going to put a desert measurements in the description box for you okay i'm going to mix it and here i have the stock from the our meat okay so that's what i use to mix my spices or sometimes i use the stew right so this is to avoid lumps because sometimes the spices the powdered spices or ground spices they do have some lamb so i've been cooking um my, i don't time my cooking trust me i don't what i do because if i give you the time and you try it maybe your heat is not the same okay so it may not cook or it will overcook so what i do is i add some water to my stew okay 
like a jug of water, like one liter. Okay, it boils until it reduces. I do it twice because this tomato, I mean, because I'm using tomato sauce. So I just did it twice. If I'm not using tomato sauce, I do it three or four times. Okay. So I've added my spices. I've stirred it. And then, yes, it's just let it like boil over. You can't say some way, actually. You let it jump over. My new hoodie fast so kakra. And you see that the still the oil has resurfaced. I want to say, yes, still, you know, have far. But one, one, um, Thing about this stew, it will look this color at this point. It will look this color, but you leave it a little bit, then it will change to the darker color for you. So, here, this is the time I was scooping some for the jollof rice. So, if you watch the jollof rice recipe, you see that I was just scooping stew. So, that's the same stew I'm scooping, and I'm um, the rest, I'm adding my meat. Okay, so the chicken and the beef, and then salt to taste. Okay, salt to taste right so i'm giving a stir and this stew is so delicious i always say i wish i wish i wish i wish i wish i wish you can taste this okay so you see what i was i was saying about um the stew changing color it, it changes like it gets a little bit darker right and to be fair the jollof really didn't need any stew because it was so rich but just for completeness sake okay to finish until Habib's recipe, pepe peno, and that, yeah, the stew was delicious, right? And I hope you just you give this stew a try. It's delicious. Everybody will like it for a party. Charlie, with them, we just more outdoor review. We feel nice. We just add the way. I'm say, try this stew is amazing. Thank you all for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Um, don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.